If you play Japanese style mahjong, consider doing random pulls. They're a great way to practice making quick decisions at the onset and identifying potential yaku. You gotta have a yaku to win. If you're new to Japanese style mahjong, maybe you're a beginner or intermediate player, and you want to improve your game, consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss anything. I've been studying Dana Chiba's Reach Mahjong Strategy Primer, and I'm trying to incorporate some of those strategies into the way that I play the game. In these random pools, I'm going to focus on the five block method and identifying a yaku. That's not really too much different than what I usually do. The five block method definitely is something new. Read that strategy guide. There's a link below the video. You can find out more about it. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. I have six tenbow here. And I'm going to use those to mark my random pulls. Here's a Hanchen indicator. We'll just toggle back and forth east and south. I'm going to roll the dice to randomize which seat I'm in because when you play, your seat win could come into play in regards to potential score. So let's see which seat we're in this time. I rolled an eight. So we're going to say that we're in seat four and we'll say that five is Dora, five crack. East round, five crack is door, and we're in the north seat. So here's the first random pull. As non-dealer, we get 13. Five block method, we should leverage Dora for sure. So one, two, three, four. These are isolated. One, two, three, four. If we're going to play pin foo, because we have mixed suits and numbered tiles, if we are north, we can keep south because that could be used for a pair tile. Really, this could become a, a chi. This could be a chi. I think I would go ahead and throw these two first. Let's see here. I think this is what I would do. I would leverage Akadora and try to play Pinfu. If I drew something for this three crack, I may swap out that nine dot and try for all simples too, in which case we'd have to get rid of the south too. Okay, if you would do something different here, let me know. Let's do the next one. So this time, let's say we're in seat two, which is south. One dot is Dora. Oh, we've got Dora. Wow, I would try for a half flesh, I'm sure. Wow, look at this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, throw these away. I would try for all pwn, Dora, red dragons. We're south. These won't help too much for score, but it could help us get to the half flesh. So that's what I would do. Although we could potentially have some chows here or chi, I should say, potential cheese here. So one, two, three, four, five blocks. Throw these away first. That's what I would do in this case. 
Let me know what you would do. This would be leveraging Dora and the Red Dragons half and the hash, half flush. That would be a high scoring hand. That would be two Han for half flush, a Han for the Dragon, so that would be three Han, and then two Han for Dora, so that would be five Han, Mongan. If we did all pwn, that would be an additional two Han. So that would be is that um, Baimon. That would be sweet. Okay, let's go to the next one. So I'll put up a four. East, south, west, and north. North is Dora. We're non-dealer, so we get 13. North is Dora. So we're going to try to leverage that. So let's see about blocks. I'm trying to focus on the blocks. So if we're going to focus on blocks, we have one, two, three, four. These are isolated. We need a Yaku in here though. We are north. We would need to pwn that or that if we're going to leverage that. Or we could get rid of those, let this be the valueless pair and play pinfu. These would need filler tiles for sure. So that would be my initial thought process. One, two, three, four, five. These need fillers and discard those. If I were playing the five block method, that's what I would do. Three discards. Really more like five discards though, because if we play Pinfu, you can't have valued pairs. So those wouldn't work. If we played a half flush, we'd have five discards. So we would have one, two, three, fewer blocks. I think probably to me that means Pinfu's better and I would just sacrifice those. So I would try for Pinfu, discard those, try to fill in here. If you would do something different, let me know. This time we're going to sit in four, seat four again. And this is the fourth one. So we'll go back to east. Oops, I mean that's south. Five crack is Dora. We're non-dealer. So five block method. Let's see what we can do. Single honors don't help. One, two, three. One, two, three blocks. Well, this is, uh, we're north and this is south round. So we could throw these two and keep these for a potential pair, although we have a pair right there. Yikes. I think I would try for Pinfu here, get rid of those. These are valueless for this particular player. So we could maybe get a pair and bring in some chi potential with the sixes. These are isolated. This is a good side weight there. That's what I would do here. If you would do something different, let me know. Write it in the comment section.
this time we're going to sit in nine seat nine that's east east gets 14 tiles to begin with we're on east round nine crack is dora okay look at all these honors oh my goodness wow look at that pone pone i would go for honors here i think i would probably well let's block it out we could still oop pone I would try for, let's see, we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four blocks. I guess you could say that's a block, even though they have to be paired up. So I think these are all isolated, every one of them. So we would need to this is south round and we're in east seat so that could come in handy if we got a pair in there we could pwn that one two three four and a pair i think what i would do is hold the eight and maybe see if we could get a half flush so i would start by throwing these right here here's one two three four five I mean, it's pretty slim, but that's what I would do. If you would do something different here, let me know. I think the reason why I would get rid of these first is because that will help us get to a half flush for a good Yaku on top of two pones of dragons. I suppose we could discard these and keep these and maybe get cheese. We would still have two Han for the dragons, but we would lose a Han. We would lose two Han for a half flesh. Let me know what you would do with this. Would you go for mixed suits or would you discard these and keep the honors and try for a half flesh or all pwn? Back to south round, last random pull, and I rolled a six. So six is south. Six dot is Dora. We are in south seat and it is south round. We have a pair of north, which is a non-value. So let's, this is no value either, but we can't use both. You can only, you need a pair. Here's a pair. Oh goodness, this is not good at all. For blocks, we have one, two, three. three blocks that's it no Dora so I would start by throwing the red dragon and just try to fill in this particular random pull has a terrible shape I guess if you don't have good blocks or less than five that's a pretty weak start oh man some of those are really terrible trying to pull these blocks together and oh my goodness how do you do that i i gotta practice 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 that's why i do these random pulls helps me practice helps me practice and maybe make quicker decisions, especially when trying to identify a Yaku. I suppose if you have a horrible hand, you can just go for any four sets in a pair and reach, and that would be your Yaku. 
but it would be a very low scoring hand. I'm still trying to learn all these nuances. If you play this game and you have ideas on what I should be doing, write them in the comment section. I would love to learn. I need to learn. I can't play live, so I can only play online. Uh, between reading online or reading Dana's book and maybe talking to friends online, that's really all I have. So I would really appreciate some comments and maybe those who are watching can benefit too. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Reach, may all your picks be keepers.